The free senior high school program is expected to take off in September this year. And experts at the Ghana Education Service say enrollment for the 2017-2018 academic year is expected to increase to 950,000 students, up from 870,000 in 2016-2017. The World Bank says it will partner the government to achieve equitable access to education at the basic level. Ghana has been among the leading countries in the sub-region that is committed to supporting public education. Over the past two decades, access at basic education levels has significantly improved. However, there are still about 450,000 children out of school. A report from the Ghana Education Service GES shows that two-thirds of women and nearly half of men in the northern region have no education. Education is considered one of the priority mechanisms to promote economic growth, and this can be achieved with significant improvements in access, quality, and relevance of secondary technical education. In addition to existing free education at the JHS level, the new government has resolved to provide upper secondary and technical senior high school programs free of all charges. In the past, the World Bank has supported secondary education improvement projects with about $190 million. To continue with their support for Ghana's education, the World Bank Director of Education, Mr. Hamin Savendra Handuvi, calls on the government to invest in quality education with focus on maths and science. For the bank, is, um, I mean, we're always willing to continue working with the government. I mean, we are already having operations uh, supporting supporting uh, them on the on, on secondary education, uh, and our I mean, our commitment is to continue working both in terms of um, uh, helping in that in the different fronts of increasing access and quality. So working on infrastructure, working, working on the issue of improving the kind of materials that are used in school. I mean, working in terms of uh, teachers, teachers training, uh, giving scholarships to uh, to girls in order to increase their uh, their enrollment in, in in school. There is evidence globally that upper secondary education has a significant impact on students, society, and the economy. However, a challenge the government needs to address is the increasing enrollment which could put further pressure on quality. There are not enough core textbooks for students, and about 14% of public SHS classrooms require major repairs. 